Hey everyone, Jane from Morning Dew Creations. I was wandering around Hobby Lobby the other day just looking to see if there was something fun on clearance that I could upcycle. And I came across a pair of these lamps. Now, don't get me wrong, they're super pretty as is, but I'm gonna make them even prettier. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm just gonna start by taking off the shade. And I'm gonna set that aside for now. And I'm gonna set this aside because I'm gonna do something with this too. My DIY paint color of the month for January 2020 is White Swan. That's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna paint two coats on this whole thing except I'm gonna leave this. Here's the first coat. You could totally leave it like this. You could wet distress some of that turquoise back out and it would be really cute. But I don't want the turquoise to show. I'm gonna put one more coat of the White Swan on and then I'm going to put one coat of liquid patina over the whole thing. Those are gonna dry and I'll be back. Two coats of White Swan, one coat of liquid patina. This is dry and I am ready to add some black wax. I love black wax. And I have this teeny, teeny, teeny applicator. It is a stencil brush, a tiny little stencil brush. And I am gonna put the wax in here. I'm gonna put it along some of the edges and then along the very top of this. The wax is done, super cute. Now I have the classic vintage labels transfer set. Check this out, you get three sheets. I think there's 27 transfers in here, it's pretty amazing. And um, there happen to be two with a B thing. So I cut both of them out, they look a little bit different. So each lamp will be different, but the same. I made a little wedge here with the scissors and just a can of wax so this thing doesn't move around. And I'm just gonna kind of center it. Now the thing about putting transfers on these pieces that are bulby is you gotta just take your time, okay? So I usually start by just doing kind of a corner first. Now I've got it turned over.
It is so cute. I need to put a coat of liquid patina on this to protect the transfer, and I'll be back. I have some little black dress, and I'm going to paint this little area black, and then remember the top of the light, the little finial, uh, the top of the lampshade, I should say, that's gonna be black as well. I'm using my little um, wax, my black wax brush to hold the finial in place while I paint it. It just makes it a little bit easier. It's looking really cute. So I am done with this part of the base. Now I'm gonna work on the lampshade. I've got my black wax again. This time I've got a bigger stencil brush. This is the Jamie Ray Vintage large stencil brush and uh, I'm just going to wax it. I just try to do this biggest area first. Now this is going to bleed, okay? I did not put liquid patina down first and I wanted it to interact directly with the fabric and the lampshade. So this is gonna bleed and that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Okay, so I'm gonna carefully take this off, but I want you to know that there are going to be some bleeds under here and that's okay. This one isn't even that bad. I got a little registration mark right there and I've got a little bit of a bleed down here, but otherwise it isn't too awful. I just have a little bit of white swan on the brush and I'm going to come in and just lightly wisp it over some of the bleeds. And then I'll take a bigger brush and make the whole shade cohesive. I'll show you that in just a minute. So the ticking stripe is done, but I just want to make the rest of the shade look uh, cohesive. Um, so I'm going to just take my chip brush and dry brush a little bit of the white swan in different directions. I'm getting some chunks on there. Get off of there. Get off of there, you. 